Hello and thanks for tuning in to Tech View. We are looking at the Western Digital MyCloud Network Attached Storage Device. So the MyCloud is the latest offering from Western Digital and it is a NAS device, also known as a Network Attached Storage Device. Uh, they come in a couple of different sizes. I went for the 2 terabyte size, which for me at the moment is more than adequate. It's always best to buy the largest one that you can afford. Now because it's a network attached storage device, it needs to be plugged into your router via an ethernet cable. So it will have to sit next to or nearby wherever your router is. It's really easy to use, it's really simple to set up. There's a nice user interface uh, through the web browser that you can use to set up users, set up folders, set up different shares, invite people to share a folder with you. That's one feature I like. So if you upload your latest holiday photos and you want to share them with your friends who live in Australia or something, then you can send them an email invite, set them up an account quite easily, and then they can just have access to that folder. And you can also set write permissions so that if you don't want that person to be able to delete things in that folder, then they won't be able to. It works without any hitches on Windows and Mac. I use it on both and there's no issues there at all. There are apps for almost all the mobile devices, iOS and Android, especially uh, to use, which means that you can just access straight away the folders on your mobile device if you're away from the home or in the home. It's great. One of the great things with this device is it is your own personal private cloud that you own and have access to, which is great. And literally all you have to do to set this up is plug it into the router. When you're on the user interface, you either click cloud on or cloud off and away you go. The device is DLNA certified, which means that you can stream direct to other DNA certified devices like smart TVs, uh, which is brilliant and I use it a lot for streaming movies to my smart TV. Some more good features are it's compatible with a Mac Time Machine and it's also got its own software for backing up Windows, which is brilliant. It also has a USB 3 connector on the back of it, which enables you to either extend the capacity of the device should you find yourself filling it up or you can back up the entire device which is brilliant. At home the read and write speeds are pretty decent. Uh, if you've got a good uh, network set up and you've got a good router then uh, you'll probably not really notice any difference when you're saving files or retrieving files or looking at photos anything like that. I've not noticed any difference in terms of speed right into the device which is great. When you're outside of the home obviously it is dependent on your broadband connection so for instance if you've got fibre then that's a lot better than if you've got standard broadband and you're just uploading at a maximum of one meg say. Overall I'm really pleased with the device it wasn't too expensive to start with it was about £130 for the 2 terabyte version which is pretty good for the latest one from Western Digital. Um, in terms of use I don't think the user interface could be any easier to use. It's really easy to set up new users, it's really easy to use their apps um, overall, it's a good device. It's not sluggish. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please use the comment boxes and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.